Hi students welcome to online class so we are going to see in this video we are going to discuss about chapter 12 structured query language in this video we are going to discuss about dql commands so in the previous video we have discussed about ddl command so now we are going to discuss about dql commands so in that we have only one command called select command in that we have only one command called a select command so one of the most important task when working with the sql is to generate the queries so main thing is we want to generate the query and then we want to retrieve the data so we are going to ask the question from the sql database that is database table and then we are going to retrieve the data from the table so query in the sense it is called a question we are going to ask the question so it is going to give the result for the question that is query see the query is a command given to a desired result from the database table so to get a desired result to get the desired result we need a result of a particular thing for example we need how many students uh, whose age is greater than 18 we want to know the students those who are coming from chennai like that we might have some query we might have some questions we need to get the result so for that we are going to give the query command we are going to use the query command so in dql the select command is used to query or retrieve the data from the table in the database so the only command which is used in dql is select command select command is used to query or retrieve the data from the table in the database see it is used to retrieve a subset of records from one or more tables so whenever you want to retrieve one or more data from one or more tables so that is also possible using select command so it is used to retrieve the subset subset means uh, already a table contains a set of data in that uh, there is another one table it may be a sub table right so it is used to retrieve a subset of records from one or more tables if one or more table is related to one another so then that is called a subset so how can the select command can be used the select command can be used in various forms the select can be select command can be used in various forms so the syntax is given here select so what are the columns you need that particular columns can be specified so select column list and then from which table you are going to select so from table name so select the particular column and then from which table you want to select so the table name should be specified select column list from table name so table name is the name of the table from which the information is going to be retrieved table name is the name of the table from which the information is going to be retrieved column list includes one or more columns from which data is retrieved column list includes one or more columns from which data is retrieved whatever the column you need that one or more columns can be specified in the column list so whenever you are specifying one or more column you want to give comma separate the columns by comma right so one or more columns from which data is retrieved so let us take a table student table so if the student table has the following data see here the totally there are 8 students records are here so first one 100 ashish mail 17 chennai ashish is a student whose age is 17 chennai like that others 101 mail 18 delhi 102 akshit mail 18 chennai then 103 ayush mail 18 delhi 104 abhinand mail 18 chennai then 105 revathi female 19 chennai 106 devika female 19 bangalore then 107 hema female 17 chennai so totally eight records are here so in this whatever the column i want to see that specific columns can be specified in the select command 
so that i can view those columns alone so here uh, here the five columns are shown here so whatever the column uh, you need you can specify the, those columns alone and then you can view those columns alone let us see for example to view only the admission number and name of the students from the student table so instead of viewing all the uh, columns instead of viewing all the fields i am going to view only the two columns that is two fields so first one is admission number and another one is name of the student so these two things alone i am going to view so other things i am not going to view so how to display those two columns alone so using the select command select admission number name from student select admission number comma name from the student table so the above select command will display the following data so see here so the output is displayed like this admission number and name those two columns alone are displayed so the other columns are not shown the other columns are not shown on the output can you understand students what is mean by select command so select command is used to uh, retrieve the data from the table in the database it is used to retrieve a particular data from the table in the database we are going to make a query using the select command so here we have queried admission number and name those two columns alone we have queried so those two columns alone are displayed in the output right then to view all the fields so whenever i want to view all the fields how can i view so very simple to to view all the fields and the rows of the table so how the select command is used select star from student select star from student already we know about star we have studied in delete command whenever we use star what is the mean by star that is asterisk so that represents all so select all columns from the student table so select all means that is select star means so all the columns are displayed on the screen that is all the fields are displayed on the screen so i think you might have understood this select command so let's end the class so thank you students